Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, we're going to focus on retelling the story out loud, our oral retell for First Grade Journeys Lesson 10. And our anchor text is a cupcake party. For this lesson, we're going to turn and talk. I'm going to ask you questions about different parts of the story. You're going to think about your answers. You're going to pair up with a partner at home, or you can be my virtual partner. And then you're going to share out your answer in a complete sentence or sentences. So I'm going to give you the sentence starters, and then you are going to say them and say your complete answer. So is a cupcake party fantasy? Fantasy means things that cannot happen. Or is a cupcake party reality? Reality means things that can happen. Well, a, the genre or type of literature of a cupcake party is fantasy. Here's our fantasy stories noticings. A fantasy story is a make-believe story. Sometimes there are magical places. Magical things can happen. Animals may act like humans, and definitely in a cupcake party, uh, the animals act like humans. Animals might wear clothes. There might be monsters, aliens, or dinosaurs. Animals might be extinct in real life. Um, and there can be events that may not happen, and the story might be funny. Let's review our uh, vocabulary and sight words because you may say some of these words when we retell the story and answer the questions about it. Number one is give, to pass something to someone else. Give. Number two, one, a single thing, one. Number three, small, little or not big, small. Number four, put, to place a thing in a certain spot, put. Number five, eat, to chew and swallow food, eat. Number six, take, to get something, take. Number seven, baked, cooked in an oven, baked. Number eight, cupcakes, small round cakes baked in a cup, in cup-shaped containers, cupcakes. Number nine, party. When people get together to have fun or celebrate something, they are having a party. Number 10, tree. A tall, woody plant with a main trunk and branches. Tree. Here's our learning target for our lesson. I can retell the story out loud. Um, and the story is a cupcake party using pictures, words, and sentences. Success criteria. That means how will you know you're successful at retelling the story using pictures, words, and sentences? Well, here are our steps to success. We're going to do these together. And if you follow these steps, you will reach the learning target. I will. Number one, answer the talk about it questions. Number two, say and match the main characters and setting. Where, who are the characters, who is in the story, and where does the story take place? Three, put the retelling pictures in the correct sequence. Four, say and match sentences to each picture, saying what happened first, then later and last. And then finally, say and match the lesson or moral of the story. Let's go over our turn and talk rules. If you have a partner to talk to at home, your eye to eye and knee to knee, you face the speaker. First one person talks, the other person listens. Then the next person talks, the other person listens. Do not talk too long on your turn or your partner will not have time to have a turn. So you may agree and you could say, I agree with you, Mrs. Pearson, because, or I disagree. I disagree with you because, and tell me why. All right. Look at this first main event. Uh, you can find it in our Journeys textbook if you reread page 144. Think who is in the picture? Where are they? What's the setting? 
and what's happening. Okay, number one, here's your first question. Why does Fritz want to see his friends and what does he decide to do? Why does Fritz want to see his friends? What does he decide to do? Well, you can say this. Fritz wants to see his friends because... And then, so, what does he decide to do? So, so say that out loud. Fritz wants to see his friends because, so, well, Fritz wants to see his friends because he misses them. So, he decides to have a party and he gets up. And we'll talk about what happens next. So look closely at this picture. You can reread about it on page 145 in our Journeys textbook. Look closely at the picture. Who is in the picture? Where is the character? And you notice, we know this is fantasy because... The character hat is an animal, and there is a coat and a hat. And we know that animals do not wear coats and hats. So, what is Fritz doing in the picture, and what might Fret Fritz do next? So, what is Fritz doing in the picture, and what might Fritz do next? So, you can say, Fritz is... Next, he might, so say that out loud, Fritz is, next he might, well, Fritz is taking a, a list of his friends and leaving his tree trunk. Next, he might go um, invite his friends to his party. All right, next major event. You can reread about this in our Journeys textbook on page 150 50 to 151. Look closely at the picture. What's happening? And who is in the picture? And where is the character? Where? What's the setting? Think about that. How does Fritz, Fritz make his friends feel special? How does Fritz make his friends feel special? So Fritz Well, Fritz makes his friends feel special by decorating cup baking cupcakes and decorating the cupcakes with their faces on them. So here's our last major event. You could reread about it on page 153 to 154 in our Journeys textbook. Think about it. Who is in the picture? The characters? Where are they? The setting? And what is happening? So think before I ask you the question. How do Fritz's friends feel about him and why? How do Fritz's friends feel about him and why? Fritz's friends feel because, so say that out loud. Fritz's friends feel because well I can see just by looking at their faces Fritz's friends feel happy and glad because they are at a party and Fritz made them feel special because he made them cupcakes with pictures of their faces on it. 
and they brought him a present too, a nut. All right, now it's time to retell a cupcake party out loud. So you're going to finish these sentence stems. The characters are, who are the characters, people or animals in the story? And you're going to say the characters are, well, the characters are the animal friends and Fritz. The setting is a, where does the story take place? The setting is a, the setting is a tree trunk and the outside because Fritz goes to find his friends. So let's put our retelling pictures in order or the correct sequence first. Then, later, and last. Well, first, what is happening in this picture? First, Fritz wakes up and say it out loud what's happening. First, Fritz. Well, first, Fritz woke up and said, I must have a party. I must have a party. Then what happened after he woke up? Then, what is he doing in the picture? Then he, well then, he went out his tree to ask all his friends on his list. Later, what happens? What is Fritz doing here? Later, he... Well, later, Fritz baked cupcakes and put a small picture on each one. And last, what are all his friends doing? Last, the friends. Well, last, his friends take and eat the cupcakes. They give Fritz a nut. In the end, everyone learned that a party is a lot of Fun. All right, let's reflect on our learning. I can retell the story, a cupcake party, using my words, pictures, and sentences. How do you think you did? Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily answered the questions and retold the story using the sentence starters. Or three. How do you think you did? Three, I was able to answer most of the questions and retold the star story using the sentence starters. Two, I was able to answer some of the questions and retold some of the sto story using the sentence starters. Or one, I was not able to answer the questions and did not retell the story. How do you think you did? Four, three, two, or one. Well, boys and girls, thank you for retelling the story. Whoops, sorry. The story with me. Have a great day.